I wanted to show you how to use uh, PC Part Picker to find parts. This is PCPartPicker.com. And if I'm looking for the least expensive part, for instance, to find a particular motherboard, if I go to Browse Products and I go to Motherboards, I can then go through and if you look at the merchant list, it's more than just looking at, for instance, Newegg. Uh, which is on this list, but it's all these including Amazon. So I'm going to leave it checked at all. And I'm going to do an example if I was looking for an AS Rock motherboard. Uh, we'll say with the AM socket. So I'm going to set AM4, AM5, and the uh, STRX4, which is the other one allowed in this particular project. Uh, and then I'm going to say ATX, EATX, Micro ATX, XL ATX, see if there's any other ATXs on this list that I'm missing. Flex ATX, there we go. All the ATX form factors are uh, chosen now. And I'm going to go on down here, see if there's anything else I want to check. Uh, no, I'm going to go with that. So right now, by doing that... <coughs> I now only have AS Rock motherboards. I'm going to go ahead and order by price. Oops, there we go. So the least expensive AS Rock motherboard that fits in that socket, you can say on this list, it's a little nicer. It says the socket, the max memory. I see I can get one for $58.98. I can go ahead and click on that and it says where, well, I would have found it in Newegg anyways because it's a Newegg price. And then I can go through the specifications and see if it fits um, the things that we have to have, for instance, with the number of SATA headers. It even says that on here. It says autograph in onboard video. Yes, depending on CPU. Um, it doesn't have wireless, but let's see if it tells us our other information here on whether it's got audio and network, which you can almost completely assume it does but we could go on and click this and go open it up at Newegg and find the rest of the information. I just wanted to point out PC Parts Picker because I showed you on Newegg during class but quite honestly this is better because now I'm searching across multiple multiple sites. Maybe Newegg is the cheapest in this case it was. Uh, let's look at another one and see if um, when we look on here it's there's an example of Amazon being the least expensive option on here, and it, it shows lots of websites. So uh, PC Parts Picker is a great way to search across multiple sites for exactly what we're looking for and find the least expensive option. Uh, and I wanted to make sure I pointed that out to all my students uh, before you got too far into your selection and found out that was a, a better way to do your shopping.